Welcome to Looked On 6 from College, Maths Department. My name is Lydia Maina, GCSE Course Manager and Section Leader. Maths is all around us and there's no escaping it. It's probably the one subject that you've studied the longest. So we all have particular relationship with maths. Some enjoy it, but some need more support than others. It is with this in mind that we have four different qualifications to meet your ability and interest. One is award in number and measure, two is GCSE maths, three we have A-level maths and further maths. A-level maths. A-level maths is both stimulating and interesting. If you enjoy maths and are good at it, then this is the subject for you. If your intention is to study a heavily mathematical degree, for example maths, physics, engineering or computer science, then it's essential that you study A-level maths. If you're not sure what course you want to study in university, but achieve a grade 7 or above in GCSE maths, then you might consider taking this option. A-level maths is a solid choice that is respected by most employers and universities. It is what we call a facilitating subject because it develops your skills, both analytical and logical thinking and problem solving, skills that are applicable in most other subjects. The entry requirement is a GCSE grade 7, but if you do come to us at grade 6 but are studying sciences or economics or computer science, then we could con consider your admission, but on condition that you attend additional maths classes for the first year. In terms of content, A-level maths builds on topics taught at the top end of GCSE curriculum. So you will find familiar topics such as trigonometry, geometry, and algebra, but also be taught new topics such as calculus. If you're looking for a future in maths, physics, or engineering, you might consider further maths. GCSE mathematics. If you attain a grade three at GCSE, then you will be required to take this course. Alternatively, if you attain a grade four or five, but wishes to improve on your grade, then you're more than welcome to apply. If for some reason you've, you've not had an opportunity to sit your GCSE, then Luton Sixth Form College will offer you an opportunity to do your GCSE for the first time. Believe it or not, resitting your GCSE can be a very positive experience. It shows your commitment and willingness to work hard to achieve the grade that you do want. At Luton Sixth Form College, you get a fresh opportunity to do so in a very supportive environment. There are different systems that we have in place. One, very supportive teachers, small class sizes, committed academic improvement mentors who work with you in class and also run the drop-in sessions at the GCSE Achievement Center. We run weekend and half-term revision classes, especially the weeks leading up to the GCSE exams. We have two exam sittings, one in November and the other in May, June. Award in number and measure. If you attain a GCSE grade one or two, then you'll be required to join this course. It is a one year program, after which you then move on to study GCSE maths in the second year. It offers you an opportunity to get a deeper understanding and knowledge of number and measure, at the same time, polishing up your mathematical skills. Further maths is a course for people who would describe themselves as confident mathematicians. So if you enjoy maths and are good at it, you should consider studying further maths, especially if you're interested in studying a maths-related subject at university later on. For these courses, further maths is sometimes a requirement if you're looking at a prestigious university, uh, but most of the time it's uh, considered at least desirable. In further maths A-level, we extend and develop ideas from the single maths A-level, and we also introduce uh, several new concepts such as complex numbers and matrices, and so we get a more rounded uh, picture of the world of mathematics than maths A-level alone. Further maths is a very rewarding A-level, it's also a very challenging A-level, but there are lots of uh, avenues of support available such as drop-in sessions and the opportunity for one-to-one -one sessions with expert mentors. 
Unlike in single maths, there is an opportunity to specialise in further maths, where you can do either mechanics or statistics in the second year. You need a solid foundation of knowledge to study further maths at A-level. The minimum entry requirement is a grade 7 in GCSE maths. In practice, the majority of students have a grade 8. So if you think you might be interested in further maths, then it might well be the course for you. If you want to know more, follow the links on the college website, and we look forward to seeing you in September.